What's up, y'all? It's your boy, man. It's my new deal from now and ever crew. I got wood bugs on me. Here you go, little buddy. There you go. And today I'm gonna teach you guys how to tie your shoes perfectly every single time. Every single time. So unless you're a professional shoe tire, which I am definitely not, then I think you guys are gonna find this really helpful because it personally helps me and it's how I tie my shoes every time now. If you are or are not a b-boy or a b-girl, then it doesn't really matter, but for breaking especially, I found this especially helpful because your boy is definitely a below average shoe tire. Is that a thing? I think it's a thing. Okay, let's get into it right now. So both shoes untied like this. What you're gonna do, just pull it tight first, obviously. Make sure they're about the same length. Then just make a knot, simple. Then make one bow. You know, everybody knows this one. Then just try to make sure they're about the same length. That's the only thing I really have to say recommendation-wise. And then once you do that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab it like this, okay? Then you're gonna grab one of these about here, okay? And then you're just gonna put all those laces underneath, like this. So, thread them through. Boom, pop, ba da da, pop. And the last one. And then, when it's all through, just make it nice and clean like that, okay? You wanna make sure this is decently tight. If it's not, get it like this, super tight. Then do the same thing, repeat the process. Make sure, same length, okay? Then, now that it's tighter, push them under, and then pull them through like that. And the side laces as well, until it's making one little arrow forwards like this. Boom, okay? Pop, like that. So let's say you've got ghetto laces, <laughs> like this one, okay? If you've got ghetto laces and you see, <laughs> like me, it still works, don't worry, okay? This works with every single kind of shoelace. We don't discriminate on this channel, everybody. So you're gonna do the same thing, make a knot, and then make your little ears, and then grab them all together, super easy, you don't even have to double knot it. And grab one, you can go higher, lower, wherever you want, doesn't matter. And then just pull it through, and pop goes the weasel. Look at that, boom. I mean, if you ask me, I think that's way fresher and cleaner as a shoelace or a whatever, because of whatever movement you're gonna do, right? It's not gonna move because it's actually getting caught by this. This is pressing it down. So with this pressing it down, it means these laces aren't gonna come out. They're not gonna get loose or anything. They're just gonna stay solid. So especially with me breaking and being a b-boy, with me doing all crazy stuff, all the time, if my laces come undone, is not gonna be the best thing. So I think this is not only fresh, easy, but also it just looks dope, man, in my opinion, in my humble opinion. So these are some other ones that I've tried and I don't think work as well, okay? Because the issue is, especially with braking, we use the tops of our feet. So if we double knot like this, you're gonna make this knot too big. So then when we go on the tops of our feet, that's gonna dig in. So I didn't like double knotting, personally. And then also, if you tuck it into the size of your shoes, there's another one that I tried, like this. Then I found that one, it's not comfortable on your feet, and two, it's not very secure, so it comes out all the time, okay? And then another one that a lot of people use is when they go like this. They tie their laces around their ankles like this. But the issue with this one for me is that it actually cuts the circulation off from my ankles. And unless you don't have sensitive ankles like me, that's not gonna be so great. Especially if you're a dancer or something, you're gonna really struggle with that. So personally, I found this is the best method for quickly and easily tying your shoes, keeping them tight, keeping them fresh, keeping it all gooch, man. So there you have it, a quick little easy method to tying your shoes and keeping them tight and fresh the whole time. Hope that helps. Hope you guys learn a little bit of something. I know it's a little bit of a different kind of tutorial, but your boy's hip is injured, so I'm trying to get a little bit creative with what I do. So if you guys have any other creative ideas or things that you'd like tutorials on, or I'm gonna fall off here, 
or just content you'd like to see from your boy, do let me know. Comment down below. Let me know what you'd like to see next. Also, let me know what shoot tying technique you personally use and what's helped you. Don't forget to comment it down below. Subscribe. Like the video if you learned something. And smash that bell button for all the updates. Shoutouts to the Patreons who are supporting me. If you want to support me as well, you can become a Patreon. Every single person helps me to get closer to my goal of creating content full-time online. Before you go, if you're not completely sick of my face already, don't forget to get my free course, Breaking Made Simple. To access the course, all you have to do is go to the link down below. To get the free download, all you have to do is join the Facebook group, Breaking Made Simple, which is a hub for people to learn, grow, and just get better and become the best b-boys they possibly can, man.